guys, what is up? And welcome back to another video. And today I'm actually moving into another room, which means I'm gonna have to move all my tanks into that room. We're gonna have to pretty much disassemble all the tanks and everything and uh, move them over. That goes for the beta tank to turtle tank to 40 gallon. Now this tank over here was supposed to be a surprise tank, but it didn't end up working out, but I'll show you guys it anyways. I made this tank for a fire belly toad and uh, I thought the setup was really cool, but my only problem was I could not find any. The store I usually get them at said they have trouble getting them in the store, and uh, so I can't really get them, and I don't want to get them online, so I'm kind of stuck, but if you have any ideas on what to put in here, I can always change the like design and layout. Let me know. Now this room I'm in is pretty small at the moment, but the one I'm moving into is much bigger, so I'll be able to have more room for tanks, and I'll go over future plans on what my idea is for what I want to do for that room so stay tuned for that but let's go ahead and get started so basically what I'm doing right here is I'm just taking our turtle Tyrone out so I can go ahead and start emptying the tank all right so the plan is to use the siphon and siphon the water out of the tank and put the fish in here and then we can go ahead and move the tank Later. Guys, we just moved the tank into the new room. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with water and get it all set back up. All right guys, the tanks are all set up and uh, has water in them and everything. I didn't end up filming much because it took a really long time to get everything back up. But uh, yeah, I got the five gallon over there, the two tanks over here, and then the 3.5 over there. Eventually in this spot right here, I'm gonna get a rack that has about four shelves that I can put like 20 gallon tanks on like those. So I have a lot more tanks here and uh, yeah. So this whole wall is pretty much gonna be tanks, which uh, should be pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think I should get. Also, let me know what I should get for this tank too. This is the five gallon tank. If they do end up getting fire belly toads in, I will go and get one. But if they don't, drop some comments and uh, I'll look at them and uh, see what I can get. All right guys, now we're out back at the turtle pond. So I figured I'll go ahead and uh, feed the turtles. I know it's been a while, so uh, hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, now we're back inside the house in the room and a couple days ago I ordered something so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you what I got. So right here we have a new filter for the 40 gallon tank. As you can see it's 350 gallons per hour up to 75 uh, gallon aquariums. And as you know my tank is only 40 gallons so this should definitely uh, be enough to keep that tank going. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and get it all set up. So right here is the filter I have right now and as you can see it's really dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this one up. We might have to cut some of this stuff out so it fits. All right, when you first open up, you can see it's pretty big. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this whole thing out. Now, unlike my other filter, this one has these bio wheels and the cartridges in the back as well. This will provide more uh, flow and uh, clean it a lot more better. So we're gonna go ahead and take these out of the bags and start putting it in. And right here, you can see there is two spots for two filters on each uh, side, which is nice to know, but we only have two right now, so we're just gonna stick with that. So now we just have to take the actual intake and attach it to the bottom, and we should be all good to go. All right, we just got the new filter on. As you can see, this plastic piece is too short. It's cut out for this one. So we're gonna have to cut this out and make it bigger for this. So I went ahead and marked where I got it cut. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some scissors or a razor and cut it so we can get this on. 
All right, guys, we have everything set up. As you can see, we just cut out the sides so this thing can fit around it. We got the lids and everything on, so now we can go ahead and plug it in. All right, as you can see, everything's flowing. Get the two bio wheels spinning. I really like this filter because it comes with this top and this protection thing right here, so you literally can't hear a single thing. This is what the flow looks like from underneath the tank. Overall, I'm really happy with this filter. This should make this tank crystal clear now, so I'm really happy about that. And I would recommend getting one of these. I think they do have them for all different kinds of tanks. 10 gallon, 20 gallon, 50 gallon, whatever size you need, but I would recommend one of these. I forgot to mention this before I put it in the water, but as you can see, right here is one intake and down here is another intake. So this filter actually has two intakes for the water, which will help clean it a lot more and uh, a lot faster. You can also set it up without the extension tube for the intake and just have this one. Or you can do what I did and have the intake at the top, which will get all this floating debris. And then you also have the one on the bottom. And this one will collect all the stuff at the bottom of the tank. But if you guys are interested, this is the Marine Land uh, filter. Like I said before, they come in different sizes. I would recommend these. It's really powerful and hardly makes any noise, which is really good. So uh, I would check these guys out if you really want one. Uh, in the same box, I did get something else, but I'm saving that for the next video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you guys next time.